Coming to you from the studios of STL TV in Forest Park, it's the best of the STL. On tonight's show, the founder of A Freaky Lolo, Jaje Batili. And the Child Abuse Prevention Program. Also, heating things up in the kitchen, the Rib Shack. Here's your entertainment for tonight, Blue 66. And now, your host, please welcome Cassandra Walker and Ivy Hartman. <laughs> You know that you hurt me so. Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Cassandra Walker. And I'm Ivy Hartman. Wow, that band is rocking. I know they are, really. They really are. I can't wait to hear them later on in the show. I'm looking forward to it also. That's Blue 66. Blue mm -hmm. 66. If I could sing, I'd, I'd sing something. Yeah, I I can't. <laughs> and we're all grateful for that. You know, so, Shame. but we can get you something Shame. nice for Mother's Day, perhaps now, some music lessons. <laughs> I don't know. And could you be my teacher, pray to yeah. <laughs> We, I don't know. <laughs> you don't work on Mother's Day. You don't work on Mother's Day. No, I don't work on, that's right. Well, do you, what do you do? No, no, I relax on Mother's Day and I hope all of you mothers are gonna be having Mother's Day celebrations do the same. My family usually treats me really good. Mm -hmm. Although I do think, Ivy, that they shop on Saturday. Yeah, that's all right. Before Mother's Day, that <laughs> Saturday. You know, <laughs> just being at home, having a nice meal at home, maybe some grilled food or bringing in Yummy. some barbecue mm -hmm. is great. And we love that uh, Raina is actually here with us today in the audience, filling in for LJ. She is, and you know what, Ivy? I wonder if she tweets, Facebooks, oh. and YouTubes. I know she does. She's got to be. She's here with STL TV, and you can find us on all those places and yes. all your favorite shows online also at stltv.net. Oh, let's see. Raina, do you do any of those things? Um, I'm going to. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about this amazing show we have tonight. The Rib Shack's here, and it smells so good in here. And if you see all the goodies they have over there, well, you're going to see them. Just stick around. And then Blue 66 is here. You got a little taste of them, and they are really good. I can't wait to hear more of them. And you know what? We're going to learn some things about some dance, and we're going to talk about some really relevant, something really relevant to society. In fact, let's just do that right now because I'm sitting here with Kathleen Hawkins from CAP. And what is CAP? CAP stands for Child Abuse Prevention Program. And how long has the program been around? 20 years. You know, and I was reading somewhere that you started with 300, helping 300 people, but now you help over 45,000 a year. Correct. Wow, well tell me what kind of things you do to help. Well, we work with children, we work with their families, educators, folks that are in training to become counselors and teachers. We also train people that are working with little children in the early childhood centers. And what's, what is CAP's purpose? What caused CAP to come about? And tell me about the service that you do to the community. Okay. What we do is give kids the language to say no to someone that is abusing them. We tell them that their bodies are private that no one should touch them in a not okay way, and they can always, always, always tell someone. We give them a list of people they can tell, like their teachers, the principal, their parents, a police officer, just folks that are in the community. And you see this in an every day, because you know, when I was talking to you earlier, you told me just yesterday, what happened? Four children in two classrooms 
asked to speak to me after the class. Two of the four had already been resolved. The other two had not been. And I'm always surprised, but I'm not. But they trusted what we said, mm -hmm. and that child will not be abused anymore. Okay. So tell me, how can people get in touch with you, and, and who can get in touch with you? Anyone can get in touch with us. We are free service, and Jewish Family Children's Services, our phone number is 314-993-1000. Mm -hmm. We also have a website, www.jfc dash stl.org. What's that number one more time? 314-993-1000. Perfect. And you know what? We thank you so much for the service that you do. It's a big deal in the community. Thank you. We, we need organizations like yours. But right now, you know what? Cassandra's in the kitchen, and we're going to jump over there and see what she's got cooking up. Cassandra. Thank you so much, Raina. Now, I am in the kitchen with the rib shack. I love ribs. Isn't the song Love Shack? I love the rib shack. I like that. Okay. Anyway, so I'm with Jacqueline. Jacqueline, thank you so much for coming on the Best of the STL. Welcome. Thanks for having us. Now, you brought all this just for me, right? <laughs> oh, okay, I guess not. So, Jacqueline, tell me a little bit about the rib shack. I understand you have a new location, so yes, tell us about that. Yes, we have a new location, and it is downtown. Yes. 1300 Cass Avenue, and we're so excited. We have uh, added additions to our menu for Wonderful. The, the healthy side of everybody. Tell me about that, but let me tell you this real quickly. Ivy said they have a new location, Cassandra, and they have a drive-thru. Yes, drive-thru. So yeah. <laughs> tell us about the new items, menu items that you've added. Oh, we didn't add it. Uh, the grilled shrimp, grilled mm. chicken, um, grilled tilapia, wow. grilled catfish, or you oh. can get it fried. We have shrimp. We have gizzards. Excellent. Yes. Now, Chef Mike at both locations, how is he cloning himself? A little bit, he, but he's mainly at the, our home location. Okay. But yeah, we're training people because he can't be all over the place. Here, yes. So. Now, what are your hours of operation at, at the new location and at, at the other? Are they the same? The same hours, Monday okay. through Thursday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Okay. Uh, Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. to midnight, and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Wow, perfect. You have that all in your head, too. You yeah. know all about that. So, what is the most requested item at your new location? Now, is it too new to know that already? Well, no, we've been getting a request for a lot of the fry items, the fish. Really? The catfish and the shrimp are really popular. So even though you have the grilled menu option, still a lot of people are requesting the fried food. Yeah, a lot of people. Tell you, it is good, <laughs> uh, Jacqueline Robbins, I'm just saying. But So what about the grilled menu? Why did you decide to go to that lighter fare? Well, we just wanted to be able to, uh, Rib Shack wants to be able to provide a variety of options for our customers. Mm -hmm. So we have fish, shrimp, we have stuff if you're a vegetarian, veggie burgers. Wonderful. Yeah, we have a little bit of, for everybody. Excellent. Yeah. We're going to come back in a little bit later in the show and talk about what you brought here today. Okay, awesome. And talk about where people can come out and enjoy their meals because you also do catering. Yes. But before we do that, we have to make sure we let you know who our Sam's Club winner is. We have a Sam's Club winner and his name is Ben McDermott. Ben, congratulations. You won the Sam's Club card. Now, Ben, this is the 35 I know you want to run over here and get this car, Ben. So would I, because it's $35. You can take it to Sam's Club and rack up on all the great things they have. Thank you, Sam, for being a sponsor. And, Ben, enjoy the card. But we're going to just talk a little bit more here with Jacqueline. You're going to go to a quick break. But stay with us, because when you come back, we have a great interview coming up with Jaji Bacili. Thank you so much. Sheriff, but I didn't shoot no deputy. Well, I shot the sheriff, but I didn't shoot no deputy. No, no. This song was created with heartbeats of children in need. Find out how it can help frontline health workers bring hope to millions of children at everybeatmatters.org.
promise me the world. Is this what you had in mind? Every choice we make has a consequence. Help Earthshare and its members restore balance to the world. Visit earthshare.org and see what you can do. Earthshare, one environment, one simple way to care for it. Up, college is hard, down, those books are... songs growing up, Ivy. It's super easy and funky. And you it know is. what? I'm feeling just like this super vibe with the good barbecue mm -hmm. and the good music. And yes. how about a little dance? How about a little dance? Mm -hmm. Because our next guest is a master dancer and choreographer from West Africa. And he has made it his commitment to bring West African dance and culture to St. Louis through his nonprofit organization. Please help us welcome the founder of Afriki Lolo, Jaji Bachili. Tell me about that a costume, Jaji, but I want to touch real quickly. West Africa, you're from there. Tell me what makes it special, and is this from West Africa? Yes, this is um, from Mali, and uh, Mali is in Africa. It's um, where you have Timbuktu. So <laughs> this is um, a marionette, ah. and it's performed once in Mali, talking about everything happening in the village, and uh, if there is a kind of a... Uh, sensibilization about the kids or about the population, about sickness, everything mm. is uh, in uh, a marionette like a theater, like wow. a puppet theater, and people watching, there is no talking, just looking at the body, what the movement means, and they're trying to listen and trying to look at what they're trying to say. Mm. And we even use those puppets in uh, schools performing in different schools, mm -hmm. and it's amazing, without words, the kids they pay attention, trying to put their own words to the movement that of is the puppet. That's that is amazing. Really incredible. Yeah, just like so a well hmm. done. I know, you can definitely tell by the exactly. motions you're using what was going on. You know, I'm interested, because we talk about um, West African culture, where you got your background and, change and, and training and, and love for dance. Well, uh, my training uh, coming from uh, Ivory Coast, from Mali, and I went uh, to EDEC, which is uh, uh, Ecole de Danse et d'Echange cultu Culturel, a uh, school of dance and culture exchange okay. in Ivory Coast. And uh, the director from Ivory Coast, Merito African American. Mm -hmm. And uh, we learn uh, all about the culture and how to teach African dance. So the technique, how to teach African dance, coming from more Western. So it was amazing to see that, you know, um, that two culture and uh, technique coming together, how to teach, in general, African dance. Because it's a kind of ambiguous. Mm. But the world, European system help us how to break down for European or for American yes. who people who are not familiar right. to yes. African dance. And, and, and I thought about that, that dance crosses all cultural barriers. Exactly. And, and, and to your point, you don't need words. I visited West Africa in Senegal, Dakar, Senegal, in the fall of this past year in September, and it was just so beautiful. And I saw so many things I'd only seen in books. It was just a wonderful thing. And we did get to see some dancers. And I've, although we could not speak the Wolof language or French that they were speaking, it cut through all of that. And is that part of your mission, to be able to reach out to, to children and to others? Yes, to it's dance? amazing because in Africa, um, everything starts with dance. Mm. The middle of everything is with dance. The end of everything is dance. Yeah. 
and even it used to be part of uh, every culture, German culture, dance is part of life. Mm -hmm. You cannot take dance out of life, you know, because uh, we can do so much, educate the kids through dance and music. It's just uh, have the time to think about how you can incorporate together. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's because they love dancing. Yes. You have a new s a song, everybody dancing into it. You know, <laughs> yes. they're moving. But it's amazing. We should pay attention. Dance is part of a human being. It is. And how to use it. It's, that's why this organization, Afriki Lolo, mm -hmm. we have so many kids in the company. So for this performance, which is going to happen May 18th, so we have about 80 people involved in the show. That's amazing. From 6 to 60, Ivy. That yeah. is amazing. And this is the 10th year that you're doing the show. So you founded Afriki Lo Lolo. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did I? Okay. Um, was it 10 years ago that you founded it? or you? Correct. Okay. 10 years ago. And we've talked a little bit about how, we're talking about the performance, and we're seeing pictures of some of the perform past performances. Um, talk about what Afriki Lolo is, the mission. You talked about going to schools and talking with children and teaching children, but you also offer classes, so you're not just in schools. Tell us more about what you Yeah, do. we have uh, classes or offering for kids, for adults, for teens, and uh, it's op open to everybody. People going to work, you know, they are tired to be in front of a computer all day. Yes. And they want to <laughs> get out and do something, you know, mm -hmm. they're looking for anything they can find. So they come to African dance, which is a kind of a physical, and at the same time, you have no idea. Enter, you enter in that room and hear the power of the drum, you wow. will fly straight to Africa with a <laughs> I love it. And there's drumming le uh, classes as well. Yes. And um, you play the drums? Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. No, no, I don't play the drum. I know how to play it. Right. I will never play in Africa, but really? in, yes, <laughs> because in Africa there are so many talented drummers oh, there. Yes. yes. Here you will say I'm amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. We yeah. can make it. Yeah. <laughs> and Joshi, yeah, go ahead. You, you mentioned to me that when you first came here, people say you're so happy, you're so happy, and they're just not used to that. But I think a part of it maybe is the dance and the celebration. Do you think that's something that kind of lifts the spirits? Yes, uh, about uh, expressing your emotion is very important in, uh, in Africa. You know, smiling is a welcome thing. Mm -hmm. That will be the first thing. We don't care what happened during your day. You have to smile to people. It's the key of everything. Yeah. You cannot dance without emotion. You have to mm -hmm. celebrate, you know. Mm -hmm. Even in Africa, somebody passed away. People will be crying, yes, but later, they will be dancing to see that person going to a very peaceful place. Yes. You know, you gotta yes. let go, you gotta smile. You will be crying, but you gotta end up with all the smile. Yes. You know? So it's amazing. You know, here there are so many things going against uh, that happiness and taking away that smile. Mm -hmm. So that's why in dance, in, in this company, this, this organization, trying to teach the kids how to be happy about themselves, mm -hmm. who they are, Wonderful. express themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, there are so many things going on. Parents are busy, everybody is busy. Take care of me, look at me, love me. Oh, nobody love me, da, da, da. Mm. But it's amazing to see them on stage, everybody looking at them, and they feel like they are the king of the world. Absolutely. So the 10th annual African Dance Celebration, the show is titled Life, is May 18th at 8 p.m. at the Edison Theater. Tell us why it's called Life and what the theme of the show is, other than celebrating 10 years. <laughs> it's exciting. Well, life is uh, so important to me. Have uh, the fact that we uh, spend 10 years, every year we have a, per, uh, a performance. We have to value life. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this performance, you're going to see life in Africa, how it looks like. We're going to recreate a village. Life oh, wow. in Africa, life here, so life is so important, we get to see it in detail. That's so perfect. Wonderful. So just, you, you got to go. Now the rest of us can go visit West to Africa. Af yes. By yes. seeing the show at the Edison Theater on May 18th, you can get tickets online. Also, you can call them at 276-1913. And find out more about AfrikiLolo.org also online. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Wow.
What a great show. We're so lucky that he came. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what, Raina is in the band and they've been sounding terrific mm -hmm. all night, so we're looking forward to hearing what they have I for us I dare you now. to sit still and stay put yes, on this. Yes, dare you. Mm -hmm. And don't smile either. No. <laughs> It'll be hard, but we've had great entertainment tonight and I know you're ready for more, so give it up for Blue 66. Now, if you want to see Blue 66, you can check them out because there'll be a lot of different places coming up real soon. You can see them at an upcoming performance at Graham's Grill and Bar and Bayou Bar Saturday, May 18th at 8.30 p.m., 600 West Woodbine. Or you can see them, you know, a lot of other places. Check, out, check them out for booking information. I'm tongue-tied because I was dancing so much and my tongue was dancing too. Kevin Horth at 314-566-2416 or at blue66stl at yahoo.com. You know what, Cass? And everybody's back in the kitchen and I want to go over there too. So Cass, what are you doing over there? Raina, pretty soon my tongue's going to be dancing around these ribs. That's all I'm saying. So I understand completely. I'm with Jacqueline Robbins and with Chef Mike here from Rib Shack. So now tell me what you brought today, Jacqueline. We got a little bit of everything from uh, both locations. Uh, we have our grilled shrimp Delicious. salad. We have our catfish filet and our... Uh, if anybody's from St. Louis and heard of Sarah Lou style, we have our Sarah Lou style Ooh, jumbo wee. shrimp. We have our chicken strips. We have our smoked wings and our baby back ribs. Wow. Homemade sweet potato pie. I'm thinking I'm taking that to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about your sides? Oh, we got our, all, and all our sides are made homemade from scratch. Wonderful. Uh, spaghetti with uh, ground beef. We have our collard greens, slaw, mac and cheese. Wonderful. Our summer chili baked beans is a, one of our signature items and corn on the cob. Excellent. So can you tell me what is your favorite item, Jacqueline? Ooh, it's kind of hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm like always nibbling. How about but, your favorite dessert then? Uh, favorite dessert uh -huh. is sweet potato pie. Okay, and your entree? My entree, I, I love, now I'm, I'm starting to, I'm on this grill 
uh, shrimp salad now. Of that's course. My, that's my popular thing that I've been eating on, but the smoked wings are to die for. Yes. They are delicious. Everything looks delicious, Jacqueline, as usual. So what can our customers expect when they come to the Rib Shack? When they come to the Rib Shack, they we try to blow our customers uh, away by just friendly atmosphere, uh, southern, down home, uh, just friendly friendly charm. Uh, charm. Mm -hmm. uh, we welcome everybody in and uh, one of our, our slogans is we let you try before you buy it. So, so we are very confident in our food that you can try yes. our food before you buy it. And you okay. can taste a little bit. I've been doing that a lot lately. Jacqueline. I'm <laughs> trying and I want to be buying. So the two locations again, Jacqueline. Uh, one, our, first lo our home location is 8642 Natural Bridge Road mm -hmm. between Haley and and 170 and downtown location is our new location 1300 Cass Avenue uh, downtown so come try us out right by the Edward Jones Dome and look I brought you some more customers <laughs> 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 and everything looks so good Ivy I know you're down there by the delicious side dishes aren't they scrumptious they are looking good and Rena and I are gonna arm wrestle over the sweet potato pie mm -hmm. yeah. you mentioned this, isn't there another pie custard or something you were talking about um, we do the peach cobbler. Yes, the peach, peach cobbler. cobbler. Peach cobbler, yes. That's my That's... favorite for sure. We have to move this way so we can get Jaja in here. Isn't Jage. it look delicious? Oh, look yes. here. Everything looks so delicious. <laughs> yes. yeah. We are so happy that you came and brought all of your spread for us. You also do catering. Yes, we mm -hmm. do catering. Yes, you can call us uh, at 314-427-1777 and, and uh, get your catering order in. Um, Mother's Day is coming oh, up. Mother's so. Day is coming. And is, hey. you do um, intimate as well as large crowds? Yes, we do. Okay, so mm -hmm. nothing's too small or too big for you? Nope, not at all. All right, excellent. Well, of course, the Rib Shack is here in the house, and we've enjoyed you being here. Now we're going to have a taste of it all. Awesome. And so thank you so much, Chef Jacqueline, thank for coming for on the show. Us. And Chef Mike, thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you so much to our guest, Jaja, yeah. for coming on. Next time, maybe he can perform some more for us as well. That would be awesome. Thank yes. you all very much. I want to thank our sponsors. Boy, without them, we certainly wouldn't be able to make it. And we really appreciate you. And we appreciate our audience here in the house, as well as those of you watching at home or online. And thank you to our band, Blue 66. Take it away, boys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I used to hang out down at Jack's Pool Hall. You go down there, don't do nothing at all. You want to play some cards, well, there's a game in the back. You want to drink or something, well, you went and talked to Jack. You had a little money, you was a great A fool. There was a guy down there who used to shoot a little pool. Rack him up. Rack him up. Rack him up. Him up. Till the day he was dead, that was all that he said. Rack him up. He didn't know no TV set, he didn't know no car. He ate whatever Jack was making back behind the bar. They said he had a 